one shot steaming piles. Doesn't really take much imagination to figure out what I mean by that, does it? But go ahead and dig on in. Well, okay, no, don't, don't really do that. Just maybe watch, but don't play along. That's what I'd recommend. Or just don't watch at all because I'm not very good at this. That's fine too. Me caveman. Me not know computers or technology. Me make better game than this. Or is that how they made the game? Either way, I believe it. I have folks for Indagi here to do another Let's Play. This is a random game I believe I got for free. I have to double check my different uh, websites and so forth to determine where exactly I got it, but it's 150 BC. Not well reviewed at all in the Steam store, but I got it for free. There's a couple achievements. I figure I might as well just play through it so I can do a review at some point and get this game out of my uh, basic list of random games to play. But anyway, it's just gonna jump right into it. I did a simple test recording, figured out the controls, and it's rather simple. And I will admit, he jumps very moon-like, so super high jumps, but it... Ooh, kind of floaty too. But yeah, it definitely makes me think, or feel as I'm not gonna make certain jumps that are actually well within the bounds of what he's capable of. Oh, like that, that felt very close. Oh, that... That shouldn't have worked, but I'm not going to complain because I think I would have gone right back to the very beginning of the stage otherwise. <laughs> oh, that is, that's pretty bad, but I'm not going to complain again because it's working in my favor. Okay, well you can see how it's handling environments. Just rigid blocks placed around, creating what I would call basically like artificial boundaries. Very artificial and arbitrary looking character that kind of shuffles, but otherwise doesn't have any movement. I was supposed to fall down here, right? <gasps> wow. Man, what a way to reward... <coughs> oh, wow! That's even worse than I thought! <laughs> Dang, I thought it was bad when I was hitting the side, kind of like how Mario in the original game sometimes would clip into the wall for a free wall jump if you did it right. No, it's, it's much worse than that. Yeah, there it... Even if you fall down... Oh... Whoa, I, what? I'm holding right when that happens just for, I don't know, you really have to go all the way back. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, are you, see I have to go all the way back? <sighs> that's tedious. At least I see my goal. And the music suddenly cut off. Not that it was good music, but... You know, just an observation. Oh, wow. No wonder this game receives just abs absolutely atrocious review. What? 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 Wait. Oh, I have got to try something now. What? Oh, I'm seriously going to try this. I have got to get in that wall. Are you serious? This broken, glitchy, stupid game somehow doesn't glitch on that side? 
Oh, give me. Really? Or is it? Wait, 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 wait. Is it based on forward momentum? Let me try that. Ah, I got it. Basically, you just had to hold right against the wall, jump, and then push left. In other words, push the opposite, push away from the wall, and you glitch into it like this. That's how you beat the game, boys. That's how it's done. But in all seriousness, wow, this is some garbage. Ooh, this is bad. I love that stock, stock background image as well. Ooh, trees. Because he's a caveman in a jungle setting, right? So there's all these trees. Notice how the third stage right here was exceptionally straightforward and simple compared to the second one? The second stage was like a gauntlet with Okay, game. Yeah, you, if you can't tell what I'm trying to do here, I am trying to glitch because... Yeah, I have no respect for this game anymore. I'm gonna cheese the ever-loving heck out of it. Cause I see these platforms going up. I can see the writing on the wall here. So this is the playthrough, guys. What do you think? Best game ever? Woo! I'll have to double check what year this trash was made, but dang. Why did they even put this up? I understand being an amateur developer. I understand, you know, everybody's gotta start somewhere, but. <laughs> just abruptly cuts off every time. Oh, why? I'm gonna give it a minute because I want to see if there's more platforms that go up even higher. It doesn't look like it, but I don't trust this game anymore. Okay. But seriously, why would you sully your reputation? Because whatever money you could possibly, I mean, again, a dollar's a dollar. You know, money in the bank is money in the bank, but why would you think anybody would buy this? I'm gonna aim for right down the middle. Oh, you! Oh, I'm mad. And I will mention that uh, both WASD and left right keys, arrow keys, work. So that's what I'm trying to take advantage of when I'm trying to glitch in the wall is using both to try and force it. Yeah, like, oh, I had it, I had it. See, I don't know what... Oh, turn it! See, I don't know what causes the glitch to happen. Okay. I'm wondering how I'm going to time this to make this work. Oh, waited too long, waited too long. No! Crap. Uh, I'm just gonna have to fall to my death. I ended the recording accidentally with a shortcut. Oh, it's just gonna hex me out of the game entirely, isn't it?
which I already knew it was going to do that, but shut up, shut up, shut up. No, no, no. I want to. <sighs> yep. Well, I'm probably going to talk and complain more, but I'm probably just going to cut out this cramp and fast forward to the point where I get back to where I was. <sighs> this game is, that, that's really bad. It doesn't even have a kill screen or a way to exit back out to an earlier part of the game. I mean, I can't really say that's any worse than what I've already witnessed. Wow, I, I didn't even mean to do it that time, but it's completely worthless on this side. What? Whoa! Wait a second. If you hit both jump keys at once, you just super jump? You can fly. As long as you start from the ground, you can just fly? I did not just figure that out. Oh. Wow. That's total dev nonsense if I've ever seen it. Okay, the vine is my guide. Yep. Okay, guys, I just figured out the real winning glitch in this game. Fly with both arrow keys up. And what I mean by both arrow keys is uh, the W and up arrow. Just hit them both and don't let go. And you win. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this game's shameless. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm more tickled pink that I can cheat the system than I am angry at this point because I was so mad at that breaking through the walls glitch that screwed me over. I was like, oh, am I really going to have to play this whole game again if I want to beat it and it's like no no don't you be worrying here no no problems anymore you found you found the winning system so straight down then you just have to do a couple simple dodges I swear okay then you should be fine Oh, game. So broken. There we go. What is that picture? Oh, it won't show up there, but the last picture on the achievement is ugly as sin, but hey, I beat the game, guys. Easy mode, W plus up arrow key equals infinite flight. Now, if you let go, then you fall, and you have to redo it again from the ground, but there you go, cheat mode. <laughs> now, <coughs> this is something nobody should ever utilize, because you should never play trash like this. No! So, don't buy this game. Just don't. It's worthless. It's not worth a penny. But if you already have it, and you just want to rack up another 100% achievement game, then by all means, but don't be surprised if it ever gets removed from the Steam store because hot garbage like this does not belong on Steam. Now, that's not like an editorial, like, hey man, I, I'm so loyal to Steam, man, Steam's too good for this. It's like, nah, it's just standards. I really wish Steam was better about having standards. And it's like, okay, if games are completely broken, take them out. Just. Don't solely the store with this kind of stuff. But anyways, 
I'm ranting. I'm done with this game. Thank goodness. Don't play it. <laughs> but anyways, oh, have a good one, folks. And as always, fruit and doggy.